Well, it's blowing about uh, just under 20 knots, about 18 knots out there. Thought I'd tie some flies and then we'd go out in the flats and try them today. So, um, yeah, this is a local weather station. Uh, updates the internet every 10 minutes or so. If you're looking for local South Head weather conditions, go and find Outdoor Man and uh, that'll show you. Anyway, we'll go and tie some flies and hopefully go and take them up onto the flats later on this afternoon. Okay, this time I think I'll do a little small surface popper. See how we go with that. Haven't tied many of these, so. Okay, there you go. So, it's a little surface popper. I'll just trim that up a bit more. No particular design, just something that I've made up myself. So, yeah, bit of, bit of flash of girl. So, we'll go and try that out and see how we go. We'll just round these edges off a bit. Flies a bit better. Okay, so there's that one to try, a little clouds to try, and one that I tied earlier is actually. Oops, let's just tidy this up a bit before we show you this one. Okay, and this one's actually an upside down clouds of piper. Um, let's, let's trim that up. So there's three we'll go and throw around the flats and see how we get on anyway. Well, a different tide on the flats today. Um, I've come down a little bit earlier. So in the last video you would have seen me filming a bit of seagrass. Well, that is this seagrass you see in the foreground here. Oh, it's sinky. So it's, it's very breezy today. As you'll see earlier in the video, I said it's about 18, 20 knots. But here are those little seagrass beds I was uh, filming earlier in previous videos. So you can see little snapper holes and that sort of thing. As the tide comes up, so what I'm actually going to do today is set up a camera in these um, seagrass areas and just let it film as the tide builds up. And um, got a little bit of burley we could stick out with it, and we'll see what eventuates. And whilst the burley's doing its thing, we'll um, have a bit of a cast around. But there's a few bait fish just swirling uh, just over here. A few plops and what have you. But look, all about fishing in new areas, about um, coming down at various ties to see what's happening, what's not happening, etc. So we'll go and set up our burley and. Um, and get some rods and what have you going but you can see it's very different from the other day this would be under about a meter and a half of water at high tide ok 
Okay, what we've got is uh, a burly pot with um, an SJ cam mounted on top of it, and we've got a spike to spike the place, like so, and I've got a float. And the float's just to identify where it is so I can pick it up or wait out and get it when the tide comes in. So as that tide builds up fairly soon, um, yeah, we'll be able to uh, see what fish come in and around. But there's plenty of, I mean this stuff's amazing and there's all sorts of blooming mollusks and what have you in there. So you can see all these little shells that no doubt things will be eating. So, uh, yeah, very cool. Okay, we're going to start off with the uh, sinking line. I've got floating here as well. So here's that little clousy you saw me tie a bit earlier um, this morning. While well, that tide's creeping in slowly. Okay, we've got some little bait fish come in, which look like the little clouds are flying around, which is nice to know. So the burly trail still hasn't attracted anything large or predatory. 